What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make beats for Lil Yachty. I'm gonna break down how we made this beat. First, we're gonna break down the melody, then I'll break down the beat, and then I'll play you guys the finished beat at the end of the video. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Links to new high quality sounds to keep you inspired, as well as links to more of my content down below. Let's get straight into this video. I'm gonna play you a preview of the sample real quick. There's more elements that become introduced as well as some changes and other things but we'll go over that in a second so first things first we started with a melody in triton this is the midi i don't have the legit version of triton we're in demo mode this is what the midi sound like pretty repetitive dancey arpeggiation going on i wish i knew the names of all of them but we chose like three different presets from triton and we just recorded them out into audio sources and that's what these three are right here so first we had this one it sounds pretty dreamy cool texture but we added some effects first we added a shaper box to that melody the slow beater preset hey yo and then we added an Effectrix, Spectrix pre preset right here. And it kind of gave it like a really cool texture. Took out lows, boosted a little bit of highs. Pretty cool. We took the second preset that we had right here. Very smooth sounding preset. Not sure which one it is. On this preset that we rendered out, we added a saturator to make it a bit louder, bring out the nice frequencies in there. Then we added a Valhalla Supermassive default preset, turned down the mix to about 50%, even lower, honestly. And then we took out lows, boosted highs again. That's what that sounds like. Next, we took the third melody that we rendered out. This is one of the coolest textures of the sample, in my opinion. Pretty simple, but it just, something about it just sounds really cool. This is what it sounds like rendered out completely raw out of Triton. Then we added effects. First, we added a Effectrix 2 Drop 4 preset. I think this is probably what makes it sound the coolest. Something to do with, uh, maybe it's this filter, actually. This filter really makes it sound nice. And then we added a Halftime, 2 bars, 2x mode. Put the mix to like 98 or 88 on the actual mixer chain. Added a Saturator, default preset as well. Based out by Baby Audio default preset and i might have tweaked it a little bit not sure if i did you can just copy and we took out a bit of lows a bit of low mids as well and then we took some highs out as well and also i want to explain that the reason that i rendered out these three presets is because i have triton in demo mode so after about 20 minutes this plugin stops playing sound so i was just abusing the fact that i could use it for 20 minutes made a quick little melody found three presets rendered it out that's how you can kind of like abuse demo products until you like actually get it you can just render the stuff out next we added this little juno stab bass one shot it's from the prod by loner layers rmb one shots kit pretty simple man we have a bass note hitting on the one and then we have like a upwards progression kind of just ascending up this bass kind of reminds me of like the old chris brown kid ink type of era but we ended up layering that with another bass a bass that kind of had more grit to it it's from the same kit so we just kind of layered these bases together and notice that it's not perfectly on time doesn't really have to be and then after that we just added a phrase so we found this phrase from the remnant kit pitched it down in semitone to match our key of the melody that we're working with turned on the sample a little bit took out lows took out highs boosted low mids and then we also just faded in the intro so that way it smoothly transitions in versus just like hardcore starting off loud so uh, this is what that sound like 
All right, next we added a couple little melodic textures. We went to Xenology for this one, Bright Square Preset, and then we have just like some seventh chords, kind of just short, short notes, slightly strummed. But we added a Valhalla Delay, Pitch Dotted Eighth Detuned Preset, turned down the mix to about 60%, and then we have a Valhalla Vintage Verb. Default, just kind of tweaks it. Just kind of tweak it a little bit so if you want to copy that you can go ahead and copy that turn the mix down to about 45 percent and then we have portal over here the drive preset not really sure where it's from but let me see if i can find it uh, looks like it's from the tools portal preset bank and then we have effectrix 2 waterfall preset just adds a bunch of cool textures and delays to make it a bit more ambient Wait, did I show the preset? Yeah, bright square preset. Next, we added another Xenology square stack. And then we have a lower note area. And then we literally just copy pasted it over and just pitched it down an octave. And this is what that sound like. We have a, another Xenology square stack preset. This is what the MIDI looks like. Just kind of like an ending phrase that only comes in to like help transition it back to the beginning. We have the spaced out plugin, beautiful roads preset. I don't know if I tweaked anything, but if you have that plugin, you can copy those vintage cores. Took out the highs. Did end up adding a variation to the bass line. So this is what it sounds like with everything together. So for the drums, we only have like five elements going. We have one singular open hat here around the second bar area. I'm pretty sure I meant to copy this over, but I didn't. Next, we have a short closed hi-hat. And we routed all of our drums to one mixer channel, so that way we could add a cool little effect onto all of the drums without having to individually add the effect to each drum. But we added the Looper, Looper Rat, Looper Rat 4 preset. Don't know if I tweaked it, but very simple hi-hat pattern here. Left it very spacious because I felt like the melody was already kind of doing a lot. And we have a rim. I'm pretty sure all of these drums are from this Drake CLB kit. Very weird rim pattern. And then we have a kick, also from the same kit. Just pretty spacious, I'm not gonna lie. Like there's not a lot of stuff going on. And then we added this snare right here. And it only plays three times. That's the beat. I'm going to play you guys the finished beat now. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you guys learned something. And like I said before, links to support the boy. Or get yourself some new high quality sounds. Stay inspired. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. It really helps out the channel. And I will catch you guys in the next one. If you want me to try to make a beat in a certain style, comment down below. And I will try my best. <laughs>
and that's about it. I didn't really go over the automations, but um, we just turned off the drum effects in the beginning, obviously. Turn them on and then we kind of added some gaps to where it wasn't as intense and then for halftime we just added it on for the main section that's really it took it off for this intro where we have this little texture kind of fading in kind of acting as like a riser transition but other than that we covered everything hopefully you guys enjoyed i'm out